So right now it's Shuffle Along, but um, I've got to say, I've been so fortunate and feel so blessed to have this career that's gone so long now on Broadway, uh, to be able to work with so many people that, um, that at, 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 all of them have been fantastic. I, I really can't, can't pick one that I, I didn't love. Next question there in the back, all the way in the back, on the right, yep. Brian, hi. Hi. Uh, so, how are you planning on using this award to further education and further theater towards younger people? Well, you know what? Um, it's what I actually did with my, my the uh, Tony Award that I won. I would take it around to schools uh, with me and talk to, to the students and actually pass it around and let them hold it so that they could feel that that's a part of their future. It's a part of of who they could be, it's a part of them as well. Um, so that's that's what I would do with this as well. But this is really more for service, and it's the importance of that, and that's what it gives me an opportunity to do, is to talk to people about how important it is to help other people out, and how important it is to do things for other people, make the world a better place. We need a lot of that right now, right? We need a little bit. Next question, right in front of her. Yep. Hi, Mr. Mitchell. Hey. Um, you've played some really dramatic, strong dramatic roles in August Wilson's plays. And you've also done musicals. What keeps you in both realms of theater? Why do you prefer to just go from one to the other and feel like you can do it all? Hey, you got to pay that rent. <laughs> you know, so uh, you know, I, I'm just fortunate that people want me for so many different things. But that's one of the things that I've kind of done throughout my career is is just kind of diversify, doing voiceovers, doing television, doing film, doing plays, doing musicals, writing music, uh, scoring scoring television shows. You know, I, I kind of I'm a very curious person, and I and I love the arts, and I and I love what I do, and to get the opportunities to do so many different things, it just kind of light, lights me up. So it's really hard for me to say no to anything. I just, you know, say, I've learned to say yes, and I think that's one of the reasons that I've had such a, a blessed career as well. Brian, we're going to take a question here on the left. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Can I ask you, in your extraordinary career, when was that moment when you felt embraced by the Broadway community? Was there one moment you could think of, you thought, wow, these are my people? Oh, wow. You know, I felt comfortable immediately, actually. I was raised in the theater. I, I, people know me a lot from my work in television before that, but I started in the theater in San Diego, in San Diego Junior Theater, and the Old Globe Theater, and the Starlight Opera Company. And so my dream was always to come out to Broadway. Um, but I felt that immediately in the very first show that I, I did um, uh, on, on Broadway, which was Mail, which ran like five minutes, you know, on Broadway, which was a big hit every place else, and happened to be in the same theater where I'm doing Shuffle Along now of the music box and um, and I, I received the theater world award for that performance and I, I really think I, that would probably be the, the time when you know when I realized oh they they, they kind of uh, uh, appreciate what I'm doing here so that was that was very special we have a question right here in the middle hi Brian is Linda hey Linda um, we talked on the red carpet about the actors fund and the importance of it um, just the fact that you've dedicated 20 years of your life to help um, raise awareness and to raise funds to help actors. Can you talk a little bit about that, about the whole field? Um, you know, it, 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 it just, it, it's really a great thing to do. What I hope if this does, and people will look at you know an award like this, or me getting an award like this, I hope they do the same in their community. I hope they do the same in their world, in their universe, whatever that is, whether they're carpenters, or lawyers, or accountants, or whatever. You know, The Actors Fund is about us helping our own, not just actors, anybody that makes their living in show business and the performing arts. It's about helping, helping those close to us. And what I hope is other people take the the example is the actors' phone, and do the same for their world. Um, if everybody did that, oh my God, what a great place this would be, you know, for everybody to help other people uh, and give them a leg up. Did we have a question in the front? Yeah. Hold on one moment. Hey. Oh, you're rude, Dave. Thank you, sweetie. Um. Oh, I'll use this. <laughs> you, um, don't, you don't need that. <laughs> as, well, maybe the rest of the room. As James said in his um, opening speech, 
we have been such a community of diversity and acceptance, and I'm wondering, in terms of service and your experience here, what can we do to make the world at large hear us? What can we do to make the world at large hear theater? You know, I think just keep doing what we're doing. It's great when we have a, an awards like the Tony Awards, when we, when we can actually see and show the world the diversity of our community and what we're doing, the kinds of subjects that we're, we're covering. It's, uh, that's what I think, we're, we're already doing it, and we can just do more and more and more of that. Um, the Broadway community is like no other, because we're like a family here. We know each other, and we see each other, and we go out drinking with each other, and, you know, and, and have a, a lot of fun with each other. So uh, as a result, it's a, it's a big family, and we're able able to share ideas and share this wonderful diversity that we have. And it's one of the things that I love about New York is, and, I, and my son, who's 12 years old now, you walk out on the street and there's everybody on the street. There's every socioeconomic strata, there's every language, there's every smell of every kind of ethnic food. And it really is very much a, a, a New York thing as well. And um, that's that's what I, I think makes Broadway so special because we're here in the, in the center of New York, you know, the world of microcosm. And it's a place where people just accept each other because we have to. We're living in a very small space. Um, and, and we have to do that to get along. And that's a great lesson for everybody. Any last questions? Great. Thank you very much. Congratulations Thanks, you all. again. Thank you. Thank you very much.